Recent trends in database design and use include data-driven websites, natural language processing, distributed databases, and object-oriented databases. In addition to these trends, advances in artificial intelligence and natural language processing will have an impact on database design and use. With the popularity of e-commerce applications, data-driven websites are used more widely to provide dynamic content. A data-driven website acts as an interface to a database, retrieving data for users and allowing users to enter data in the database. Without this feature, website designers must edit the HTML code every time a website's data content changes. A data-driven website improves access to information, so users' experiences are more interactive, and it reduces the support and overhead needed to maintain static websites. The database types discussed so far use central databases for all users of an information system. Here are some of the reasons an organization would choose a distributed database. The design better reflects the organization's structure. For example, an organization with several branch offices might find a distributed database more suitable because it allows faster local queries and can reduce network traffic. Local storage of data decreases response time but increases communication costs. Distributing data among multiple sites minimizes the effects of computer failures. If one database server goes down, it does not affect the entire organization. The number of users of an information system is not limited by one co computer's capacity or processing power. Several small integrated systems might cost less than one large server. Accessing one central database server could increase communication costs for remote users. Storing some data at remote sites can help reduce those costs. Distributed processing, which includes database design, is used more widely now and is more often representative and responsive to users' needs than centralized processing. Most important, a distributed database is not limited by the data's physical location. There are three approaches to setting up a DDBMS, although these approaches can be combined. Fragmentation. This approach addresses how tables are divided among multiple locations. With the replication approach, each site stores a copy of data in the organization's database. The allocation approach combines fragmentation and replication. Generally, these sites store the data that it uses most often. Security issues are more challenging in a distributed database because of multiple access points from both inside and outside the organization. The relational model discussed previously is designed to handle homogeneous data organized in a field and record format. To address these problems, object-oriented databases were developed. Like object-oriented programming, this data model represents real-world entities with database objects. Grouping objects among their attributes and methods into a class is called encapsulation, which essentially means grouping related items into a single unit. Object-oriented databases can also use inheritance, which means new objects can be created faster and more easily by entering new data in attributes. Messages are usually generated by an event of some kind, such as pressing enter or clicking on the mouse button.